For over 20 years, the Thomas Wooden Railway has continued to put smiles on millions of children throughout the world. Over the last couple of decades, hundreds of Thomas's friends and rolling stock have been released. Many of these only lasted for a short while, and others have survived the test of time since day one. Join me every Friday as we spotlight one character a week. This is Character Friday. Let's get ready to hello and welcome to Character Friday. Today, we are going to be giving you a front row seat to the event of the century. Today in Sodor, they are going to be having the first annual World Wrestling Engine Federation. Up in the ring today on the right, we have none other than the devious Iron Burt. And on the left, we have none other than the equally as devious Iron Airy. These two diesels are ready to set the record straight on who is the better of these twin grim messengers of doom. Let's take a quick look at their stats. Both Bert and Airy are green gray with yellow calves, and they have yellow hazard stripes painted on their front. On the sides, they have the Sodor Ironworks written in white. Although they may look identical if you take a closer look, you will see that Mr. Burt has a more stubbly kind of look to him. <clears throat> he needs to shave. Anyways, these troublemakers are known to have disliked steamies in the past, but since have come to terms with their unworthy steamy counterparts. A piece of trivia that you may not know is that Airy and Burt's Hornby models have splatter and Dodge's faces on them. However, their model was supposed to be based off the character Diesel. These BR Class 08 shunters have earned themselves multiple names as Iron Bird and Iron Airy and the Yellow Diesels and my personal favorite. The Green Messengers of <gasps> you to the grim jobs of melting down engine. If you don't have Iron Bird or Airy in your collection, I highly recommend them. Thanks for watching and don't forget that every Friday's a Character Friday.